This is an example of the search feature. So you enter a term or a phrase, inspect the results, and you can modify the search if you'd like. When you find the answer that best matches your search, the software lets you review the question, and then you can look at each of the individual answers. And again, the questions and the answers, if they've been transcribed, are completely searchable. And you can watch the entire video with transcripts, notes, and attachments in the video library. Correctly closing the machine shop can not only prevent damage to the large and expensive manufacturing components that are located inside, but to our company's most important component, you. These are the SOP 123s of closing the machine shop. In this knowledge book, we will talk about 1. A commonly missed procedure in the machine shop. 2. A procedure with possible severe consequences. And 3. Something they don't tell you in the SOP. One of the standard operating procedures for closing the machine shop at night is to make sure that we turn off all the machines. Now, this may seem kind of like, well, why is he telling me this? Well, it's actually something that's really easy to forget, and I am personally have forgotten before. However, it's important to remember because it maintains the longevity of the machines, as well as prevents things like fires, because a lot of the wiring can get hot if it's left on all the time. So it probably goes without saying that leaving yourself logged into a computer is a security risk, not just for the company, but for yourself. Um, by leaving an account open, you're allowing machinery to be used under your name and your identity. Um, people can log hours uh, on a machine, and ultimately that just leaves you exposed. So um, it's a complete risk to your identity, to your integrity, to your good name, and you just don't want to want to leave that opportunity. So just make sure you log out uh, every night before you leave. Um, make sure you shut down properly, and you'll be good to go. The SOP states that all lights must be turned off during closing hours. However, my team came to the conclusion that leaving on one set of lights in each room during the night encourages not only safety for facilities who have to come in and out of each room to clean in the middle of the night, but it also um, discourages theft and vandalism. Personal protective equipment, or PPE, is the key to keeping injuries from happening to yourself and the people around you. These are the SOP 123s of personal protective equipment. In this knowledge book, we will talk about 1. A trick for keeping clean while safely using cutting fluid. 2. An idea to keep you comfortable all day. And 3. A way for unprepared guests to safely enjoy the machine shop. The standard operating procedure for PPE states that no gloves shall be worn in the workplace. The exception to this is surgical gloves. This is because surgical gloves rip, therefore you will not be degloved. After five years at this facility, my favorite thing to tell new hires is to think about investing in a pair of prescription safety glasses. Not only do they promote comfort because you don't have to wear two pairs of glasses all day, they also help with safety. You're less likely to take them off and they're more likely to fit your face for better shielding. I hope this tip helps you. So there's nothing worse when somebody comes in to tour our facility, tour our building, see what we do, and they've completely forgotten that they need to wear closed-toed shoes. I mean, it's obviously a, a very important safety measure. We can't let them see any of the machines without, you know, closed-toed shoes. If they're wearing sandals, we just can't do it. So uh, one of the things that I started was this uh, neat idea of a shoe rack where we would just gather a few assorted pairs of, of shoes that we could um, give out to visitors who maybe wore sandals or who just didn't wear any closed-toed shoes. And that way they can see the facility, they can see all the things that we do and not uh, have to come back at a later time. Um, and so by maintaining the shoe rack, uh, we can not only provide sort of safety measures but um, just enjoyment for our guests.